I love Psalms chapter 16 and it's, it's one of my favorite psalm which says preserve me O God for in you I have put my trust O my soul you have said to the Lord you are my Lord my goodness is nothing apart from thee as for the saints who are on the earth they are the excellent ones in whom is all my delight it says their sorrows shall be multiplied who hasten after other gods and their libation of blood, I will not offer nor take their names on my lips. The Lord is a portion of my inheritance and my cup. Thou maintains my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a godly heritage. Bless the Lord who counsels me. My reins also instruct me in the night season. I have always set the Lord before me. Because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoices. My flesh shall rest in hope. For you will not leave my soul in the pit, nor will you allow your Holy One to see corruption. You will lead me in the path to life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. I love these Psalms because it is just it's showing us the path that we need to take as we ask God every day to preserve our souls because obviously we only put our trust in God and we should only put our trust in the Lord God that created the heavens and the earth we should talk to our souls and said oh my soul my goodness is nothing apart from you Jesus and you know we should love the saints because as for the saints the saints on the earth they are the excellent ones see my joy is not fulfilled not even around my unsaved families my joy is fulfilled when I'm around the saints when I'm when I'm around the saints that love God I am happy they are my delight my delight is to ensure that my brothers and sisters in Christ is uh, serving God and is uh, giving God the glory and the honor and the praise that is due to him. They are my delight. My goodness is nothing apart from thee. No thing that I ever thought of or want to do is good enough but God. My goodness is nothing apart from thee. The goodness I want is in Jesus Christ. The saints are the excellent one in whom is all my delight. Even when sorrows come past you, one thing, this thing I, my delight is in. And I love the part when the psalmist said, my rains also instruct me in the night season. Your rains is like the rudder that directs you. So while you're sleeping, your soul is not sleeping your soul and your spirit is still working it's still directing you to the right path i love that psalm and if you would just uh know that you know don't just sit there and uh, uh watch any and anything and allow your minds to be captured by uh all ungodly thoughts those thoughts will direct your soul while your body is tired is directing your soul to somewhere else is leading you away from the presence of God but when you um, you know love the Word of God and read the Word of God daily and meditate upon the scriptures then and you seek God to search your heart even when your body is tired and you are retired to bed your soul your reins is directing you in the night season and even in the night of your life even in hard times your reins is directing you you will make the right decision because this is what the reins reins is directing you one way it's going to the straight way you must not shift nor move away from the position of holiness let the rains direct you in the night season always set the lord at your right hand if he's at your right hand my dear friends you shall not be moved my dear brothers and sisters in christ 
Keep the Lord Jesus at your right hand. Right, why you should keep him at your right hand is this. Don't put him on the left. Let him be the first in your life. Let him be in your minds. Let him be in your attitude. Let him be with the first person that you think about before you go to bed and the first person that you think about when you wake up. Read the scriptures. Meditate upon the word of God. Hold on to the word of God. Make the word of God your delight. And he should be your joy. He should be your joy. I have always set the Lord before me. Because he's at my right hand. I shall not be moved. You be like a firm tree that plant by the water. Don't be moved by the winds and the wave of doubt and fear in the economical system. What is going on? God will provide. Let the Lord be at your right hand. Listen, dear friends, we're not talking about Buddha or Allah or Krishna. We're talking about Jehovah God who is strong and mighty in power and mighty in battle. We're talking about the God that thunders. We're talking about the great and mighty God. He is at your right hand. How can you live in defeat? You don't have to live in defeat and the Lord is at your right hand. You shall not be moved. Be strong, dear friends. You may not see them, but he sent his angels to guard you. He is with you always. He loves you with an everlasting love. He has so much more in store for you. Just hold on to the Lord. Just keep your minds and your heart in perfect peace. Don't let the things of the world get you down. Don't worry about this world. Everything is going to be burnt up anyway. But focus on the Lord and just love Him. Love Him with all of your heart with all of your soul and with all of your strength and love your neighbors as yourself. Exercise love, exercise peace, be the light of the world. Jesus put you on this dark, miserable world to shine. How, do, how does a Christian shine into a world like this? We shine by being different. You shine by not being hasty and impatient. You shine by the understanding. You shine by just letting people know that there is a God somewhere. There's a God that lives in heaven. He is holy and he's much alive. Well, good.